So here's Brundlefab, my sugar printer. In a moment we're going to see the multi-pass fusion experiment where I run the heat fuser multiple times over the uh, printed grid and hopefully we will get good uh, sugar fusion on the printed portion but not on the unprinted portion and hopefully we won't catch everything on fire so let's find out okay it's going to sweep to the end of the part bin it is not recoding at this time there's a little bit of oh there we go there's the fuser so that is a halogen lamp from a 3D uh, laser printer 2D laser printer rather and it is currently raising the temperature of the bed second pass will raise the bed temperature a little bit more as you can tell I'm already kind of overheating and generating a little bit of smoke but we got to get this sugar up to 140 C so let me give you a, a long shot of what the whole brundle fab thing looks like the uh, cutting out you saw there was this third oh, you can't see it now there's a thermistor right here that is monitoring the heat shield temperature and as you can tell it's not doing too great of a job because the heat shield is currently overheating and we're getting up to 117 come on 117 thereabouts shield is now kind of at critical temperature I need to replace all that plastic with metal that that's that's just not good <laughs> well you know what? live learn make experiments and temperature up to 115 hopefully we'll get fusion at this point and if not that's why we have a fire extinguisher. All right, that's the last pass. And if I can get focused on here, let's see here. Those are kind of centered together. That is a solid mass. So the uh, surrounding sugar substrate is still powdery, and these are centered together. So all I need to do is repeat that up to a zillion more times.